understanding cases like Alyssa's and how they can be avoided. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News. Live from WFSB, Connecticut's first choice for news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 5.30. At attacks on the airways, you may have seen some spots running recently, urging action by Congressman Murphy and Courtney on legislation being pushed by President Bush. Yeah, the implication is that our national security is at risk. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kane is upstairs now with more on the issue and the people behind the push. Dan? Well, those spots ask you to tell Congressman Courtney and Murphy to pass the terror surveillance bill to keep us all safe, which sounds simple, but it's not. So new surveillance against terrorists is crippled. The spot started running after the House failed to take up the terrorist surveillance authority being pushed by the White House before breaking for recess. It points out that the Senate approved the measure but says the House went on vacation. It then asserts that new surveillance against terrorists is crippled. Congressman Courtney's office is saying this is a distortion and that according to existing law for emergencies, the NSA or the FBI can begin wiretapping immediately without a warrant. As for the statement, the House refuses to vote and instead goes on vacation, Courtney's office notes, Courtney voted to extend the current law for 21 days so that the House, Senate, and White House had adequate time to negotiate a final bill, but House Republicans blocked that, and as a result, the PAA expired. The spots are paid for by Defense of Democracies, which claims to be a nonprofit, nonpartisan advocacy organization, an offshoot of the Foundation for the Defense for Democracies, the president of which is the former communications director for the Republican National Committee. And the main sticking point in the legislation passed by the Senate, but not the House, is a provision that provides legal immunity to telecom companies that provided private data to the government at the Bush administration's request. This is going to be around for a while, so stay tuned. Dan Kane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right. Thank